Hey guys, I'm out front now here at the Altair Central building with our X7 scanner in downtown Oklahoma City. Just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to uh, scan with this scanner. And uh, at first I'm going to go through, you know, three or four setups just kind of get you used to the workflow. But my plan is to scan the whole entire building. Uh, I'm not sure how many scans that's going to take, but I think it'll be pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of scans out front here and then a couple of scans in back just to tie that data set. Later on, I'm going to tie that data set together with the uh, SX10. And so we'll have a combined data set indoors and outdoors. So we'll have that geo reference to a state plane coordinate system and just let you see how that works. Anyway, I'm ready to get started. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, everyone, I got my T10 tablet. I'm ready to get started scanning. So I'm outside the front here. Um, like I said, I gave you guys a lot of the rundown inside the office there. We're gonna start our scans outside. Um, gonna fire up the software and get this thing going. I actually got this on a little bit of a tilt, so I'm gonna see how the auto leveling works here. I'm on, got it on a sidewalk. So we're going down the wheelchair ramp here a little bit. So I'm gonna just turn it on and get started. Right now I'm just going to go ahead and start a new project. So it's going through setting up the project here. One of the first things you want to do is um, you want to check your project settings before you get started. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the instrument on. Go ahead and let it get start with, started with the auto calibration, auto leveling. Uh, and like I said, we're going to see how it does on this uh, slope sidewalk here, this wheelchair ramp, and see if it auto levels. So it's auto leveled, and it looks like we're ready to start our scans. All right, I'm set up and ready, and I'm going to move to my second scan. Just moved a little bit more in front of the door here so you'll see how I captured this doorway trying to get a little bit of the inside of the doorway that way when I transition from the outside to the inside it'll make that auto registration. After I finish scan number two here I'm going to move inside the door entry. You'll see how I position the scanner to make that transition to the inside. I'm also going to start creating some labels that I can start organizing my data with. Uh, I can have all the scans that are door entries show up at one time or if you have a multi-level building you can label those as level one, two, or three. Great way to organize your data. Once I'm inside the building after scan three you can just see how I've navigated my way through the building and each of my setups here. Um, I'm going to continue on until I get to scan number nine where I'm going to transition from one doorway to another doorway. Scan number nine had to be linked to scan number six, as you can see there. Just moving through another doorway here. Just made note of the way I position my scanner when moving through the doorway. I'm going to continue on throughout the building. Coming up here in one of my next scans, you'll see how I had to manually move the scan into place after my registration failed. This is something I'll cover in tips and tricks coming up in my next series of videos. As I demonstrated earlier, you can break the link between scans and register to another scan, or you can just keep it as register to last, or pick any other scan in your registration set to register your data to. Use annotations to add descriptions and photographs of the chosen point. Also, you can come in and take measurements against the point cloud. The Trimble X7 scanning system utilizes Trimble Vision technology for fast image capture even in low light and complex spaces such as industrial settings that can still be seen from every angle. There may be times where you get this check registration uh, notification or 
registration failed, where then you can go back in and break the link between two scans and manually tie two common points between the two scans and then re-register and from there you can check your overall results and look at your error and see if you're comfortable with the scan registration. When you complete your project in the field, you'll want to refine it before exporting and saving. The refinement process will create cross ties between all of your scans and will allow you to produce a registration summary that you can save or provide to your client. Thanks for watching another Billy Ray's Tech Talk. I hope you found this useful and up next in my series I will highlight some tips and tricks that were used during this scan. If you're looking for tech support on other Trimble products or more information on the X7, visit alterracentral.com forward slash tech support.